Recently, I had a need for a custom single product gallery layout for WooCommerce. And after researching for a good plugin for a while, I found one, the one that allows me to display galleries like this, as a slider, or this, two images on top, three on the bottom, or like this, or maybe like this, or this. Also, this plugin allows me to display videos. As you see, I can open up the video here. I can add the video thumbnails here and display the videos. It seemed like a good plugin and I decided to give it a go. If you're interested what you can do with it, then let's jump in. Now the plugin I'm going to use today is called WooThumbs, the one you see on screen right now. If you'd like to know how much does it cost, then the one site license is $79 per year. You can choose your own options here. There is also a All Access Club plan. That is, you can get all the iconic WP plugins for one price. But one site license for WooThumbs is $79 per year. These are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 10% discount coupon for you. Now, after the plugin has been installed, you'll see the WooThumbs menu down below here. Take a look at the WooCommerce WooThumbs. Let's open it up. And first, what I like is there are links to the relevant support topics. How to add the stacked gallery and so on. Just open up the link and see what is what. Now let's take a look at the dashboard. There is a license number, input, but nothing else here. Now under the display, you can choose whether to display it as a slider or as a stacked option. If you choose the slider, then it looks like this as a slider. And these are the slider arrows here. Pay attention that if you choose the slider, then there are two specific menus up here, slider and slider navigation. If you choose stacked, then there is a options for stacked. But let's take a look at slider first. You can choose the gallery width. Just enter a percentage for the gallery width. Gallery position, whether it's left, right or none. Use gallery images for variations and attributes. Yes, no, or only if a variation has no gallery images. You can select the foreground color, background color. You can choose whether to display the icons on hover. Show icon tooltips. Next, you can set up image sizes here as a pixels if needed. You can select the single image crop ratio. Just add your own crop ratio here, for example, 1 to 1 or 16 to 9, whatever it is. Select thumbnail image width, image crop ratio if needed, and large image size. But if you don't add anything here, then it works also out of the box. I didn't touch anything here. Under the slider option, there is a whether it's horizontal or vertical. There is also a fade option, transition speed, whether to autoplay the slider. If yes, then what is the slide duration, whether to enable infinite loop, lazy load mode, and nothing else here. Next, slider navigation options, whether to enable or Disable the arrows, thumbnail settings, so whether to enable or disable those, thumbnails type, sliding thumbnails, stack thumbnails. Next one, whether to enable the thumbnail controls, thumbnail position left or right. For example, let's choose right, save it. And now you'll see that the thumbnails are on the right. I like left more, so I'm going to revert back. Once again, with options, thumbnail count. At the moment it displays four thumbnails, but if I choose six, for example, let's save it and refresh it, then you'll see there are six thumbnails. I don't like it, so I'm going to revert back to four. Thumbnail transition speed and spacing. Also, you can enable the bullets, for example, let's refresh once again, and you'll see bullets on the image. Now, if you find this video helpful so far, then... Don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Those were the slider options. Now let's choose stacked options. And now you can choose between seven different layouts. Layout one. Let's test those one by one. So you can see visually what is what. So this is layout one. All the images are below each other. Layout 2 looks like this, as agreed. Layout 3 
Let's refresh it. Now instead of two images, there are three images. Layout 4, as you see, three images on top, two below the main image. For example, this one here. Next one is similar. Instead of three images, there are two on top and three on bottom. Layout 6, one image on top and other images down below, like this. And 7 is the same, but there are three columns. So, I'm going to choose layout 1, for example, or... No, I'm going to choose this one here. So, let's save it. Once again, I can change the same options as before, gallery width and so on. But under the stacked menu, there is a spacing option. So, you can set the spacing between the thumbnails. Next, you can add videos to your product images. And you can choose whether to display the controls for the videos, available controls, whether to loop the video, whether to autoplay the video, whether to enable poster images, and whether to lazy load videos. Next is zoom. You can choose whether to enable hover zoom, that is this effect here. If you would like to disable it, then just select no, refresh your page, and as you see, zoom option is disabled. Zoom type, zoom lens width, lens height, zoom position, and so on. Nothing else to configure here. Now let's take a look at the full screen options. There is also enable click anywhere, that is when enabled, then you can click everywhere on the main image to activate the full screen. At the moment it is activated, but if I deactivate and refresh it, then in order to see the full screen, I, I have to click on this icon here. I don't like it, so I'm gonna enable it for the whole image. Next one, mobile option. Enable the breakpoints, those are the, your breakpoints here. Under the performance, you can enable the cache option. If you activate the Woo terms, there is also bulk edit option. I haven't tested it, but it says that from this page you can edit all variation images from one place. Simply enter a comma separated list without no spaces here, click update and it's done. I haven't tested it, so I can't comment whether it's any good or not. What else you can do with the plugin is, let's go to the products. I'm going to open up the product itself. Let's delete this image here. I'm going to update it, refresh it here, just to demonstrate. So, those are the images here. I'm going to add a video to the gallery image. So, I'm going to add this image here. Now, I'm going to scroll down and there you'll see Thumbs media details. I'm going to paste a media URL. This time it's YouTube video, but you can attach your own file here. You can set the aspect ratio and just add to gallery. Now, if I update the product, then you'll see this is my image. Now, I'm going to go back to the Wootums settings for a second. I'm going to enable the slider option. Let's refresh it one more time. So, now it's here and you'll see that video icon is on the thumbnail itself. If I click here, then I can play it. But as you see, there is also a product video here. And this is, you can add here. Take a look, there is a Thumbs menu. Just paste this video URL here, save it. And if it's done, then it will open after clicking on this icon here. Awesome. One more thing, let's go to the all products, I'm going to open up a variable product here. Now, if I'm going to go to the variations, open up a variation, then you'll see that there is an add variation images option here. If I click, select some random images, for example, those four, I'm going to update it, view the product, and now let's open up the gallery, and you'll see those are the gallery images for this variation. So, with the help of this plugin, you can also add a variation gallery. And yeah, that's basically it. Awesome plugin, simple to use. And if you need a WooCommerce gallery, then this is a way to go. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.